Vinathan. I live in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Not very good at Hindi, I'm afraid. So, though I worked uh, in Pune and in Calcutta, I really have not picked up the flair for uh, having new languages added to my kitty. So, this session will be in English. And uh, in between, if some Hindi comes in, please excuse all the errors. Okay. Now, we are going to talk about uh, how I trade using only the price action. Basically, what we do is uh, we need to know what is the bias in which you are going to trade. In the morning, as soon as the market opens, all of us are waiting after the pre-open session, wondering whether it will go up or go down. We look at the international markets. We try to make our best guesses and uh, predictions about where the market will go. What I believe is we don't need to predict and uh, all we need to do is to follow the price. So for an example, I'm going to take today's session where the price opened at uh, 36,497.35. Okay. The marking on the chart may not be very accurate, but please do bear with me and uh, let us look at how I look at things. As soon as the market opens, we know it can either go up, down or sideways. Now, when it goes up above the opening price, obviously the candle formed as green. So we know that we are supposed to look for a buy opportunity. And if that buy opportunity doesn't come, we look for a selling opportunity, right? This can apply to anything in terms of uh, any instrument, whether it is a options chart or a futures chart or a stock chart, whatever it is, this will be applicable. As long as price is moving up and down, the principles will remain the same. So what I do is uh, in the morning, I look at the open price and mark a line uh, at that level. Then I look to see whether price is uh, trading above that uh, open price or below. If the price is trading above the open price, we look for a buy opportunity. If the tra price is trading below the open price, which means the candle is red, we look for a selling opportunity. I hope I'm clear up till now. I'll continue just in case uh, if anybody has any doubts, we'll always clear that at any uh, subsequent time. There's no problem. Right. Now, when we look at the open today, it started with a kind of a open equal to high scenario. Right. We knew that price is not going up in a hurry. But at the same time, we always have that doubt whether it will retrace from some level and uh, push upward. Now, what I want to do is I want to clear aside, clear up all these doubts in our minds by using the high energy candle. Now in a high energy candle, since it is based on average prices, it doesn't consider the gap up, gap down scenarios. So when the price gaps up and opens, even if it is a red candle in the beginning, it will show as a high energy green candle. Right. We have some fundamental rules which we follow with this. When we open a high energy chart, we always look to sell when there's a green candle and we look to buy when there's a red candle. Meaning, if there is an upward trend in the high energy chart, we are expecting the price to reverse from some point. And uh, if it starts off with a red candle, we know that we are going to have an opportunity to buy. I'm going to talk in the context of option trading especially option buying. And uh, I'm only interested in knowing whether I have a red candle or not. It's as simple as that. The moment a red candle forms, I know that the trend is down. So I should be looking for a P buy. And uh, the moment I see a green candle, I know that the trend is up. So I should look for a buying opportunity on the option chart, right? Now, basically what we are going to look at in this session 
is uh, number one how do i decide whether to buy or sell that is the primary question which faces all of us we all have doubts about what will happen to the market market being so unpredictable so at any given point in time we need to know whether to buy or sell or whether to buy a call option or a put option so we look at the hikinashi chart for guidance the moment i see the opening is green i do nothing i just wait and see whether it turns into a red candle on the spot chart i do have uh, the option chart in in a two pane window which uh, zeroda kindly provides so what i do is i keep these things in hikinashi mode so when i see that uh, right from beginning there was a green candle on the call call option chart my rule says don't buy on a green candle the reason is when you have a hikinashi green candle you know that the price is going towards resistance we don't want to buy when the price is at resistance always we sell at resistance and buy at support right so we wait to see whether we can buy at some good support level as as and if the opportunity comes we take that very gratefully yes yeah. aman all right I, i'm going to continue anyway uh, we'll have the questions answered at the end of the session and also later if you want right i have a scenario where i have a bank nifty 35000 pe today forming a red candle hikinashi i know that i'm interested in buying when a red candle is seen so what i do is i place my pending buy order at the high of this red candle if this high is not broken i move it to the next candle side i keep on doing that until at one stage the high of the red candle is broken now when this high of the red candle is broken at that time i look at the normal chart my entry is always based on the normal candlestick chart it's not based on the hikinashi prices hikinashi prices as you know may be different because of the averaging of the prices used in the calculation of hikinashi candles so when i look at uh, whether i should buy or not i look at these candles and say i'll buy at this stage right when i get a signal on the hikinashi chart which is a red candle i immediately tune on to my regular candlestick chart and say i want to buy above the high of this price right what this does is it gives me possibly the best possible entry into a trade obviously the best possible entry is at the support level but we do not know whether this is the real support or not if the price continues to fall it may happen that we may fi find a new support so uh, we enter as soon as the red hikinashi candle is broken so here in this case we had a break and on the 1015 candle so we, when you look at this uh, in the normal candlestick chart you will find that uh, your 1015 candle was this one so you took a entry above the high of this somewhere around 141.65 you can round it off you can uh, add a few pips here and there so as it's fine and all the while this one was not showing me a buy signal at this time i'm waiting and waiting and waiting i'm seeing uh, i'm pushing my price down and waiting for entry here i got an entry which was a false signal so i ended up having a loss on the c but it was compensated by the gain on the p at, a, at around the same time so you will have some anxious moments when the price is deciding where to go right it is possible that you will get your stop loss hit but this is absolutely the best place to enter a trade and your stop loss will be at the low of the scandal which is 123.4 and uh, you will see that uh, nowhere it has hit the stop loss 
it has continued it has given you losses in the beginning but it has not hit your stop loss so you sit and wait patiently after some time when the price starts moving away from your entry point you decide you can uh, bring your stop loss to break even and after that you just let it ride this is what i did for today's trade i had a entry at around 140 rupees and uh, i ended up closing the trade at around 540 just a second please right fine so basically what we are uh, looking at is how do you decide the direction to trade right and how do you decide how to enter and what strike prices you will enter what i typically do is i vary my strike prices depending on the day of uh, the week on fridays i know that it's a premium eating day so i would uh, prefer not to take a strike price uh, which is uh, too close atm kind of strike price i will not take now uh, i prefer deep out of the money options uh, for on friday and then gradually i slide it closer from monday to wednesday and of course on thursday i prefer to have only atm strike prices because uh, by the time the premium decay would have happened and you will get these things at a much cheaper price one second i'm just uh, trying to make these charts uh, okay i think i'll have to deal with the multiple chart option itself so let's forget about all this macd and all those things i don't use them i use it for a different strategy now as far as uh, your direction is concerned you will look at your bank nifty spot chart if the price is up below the open it means a red candle is forming so you're going to take a downside view which means you'll be buying a put option if the price is above the open you're going to look at uh, a positive side and uh, look for a buying opportunity so you'll uh, you look for opportunities in the call option side this is generally how the things work okay and uh, i use the heiken ashi charts for two things one is to define my entry in the option chart and number two is i like to mark my support and resistance lines using the heiken ashi chart now when we look at a green heiken ashi candle we expect it to form a higher high and a higher low the moment it stops forming a higher high like for instance in this candle let me just uh, mark my horizontal line here so i have a preference for this color so what i do is i mark my high here which is uh, after that it's formed a lower high then i look for a lower uh, high all the time and the moment it stops forming a lower high at some stage i mark a line here this becomes my support and earlier was my resistance right i keep doing this at various levels normally i would use a one hour chart or something like this or a higher time frame chart so that i will know sorry one second yeah i think i'm cool with this i'm marking it on the option chart so i have a resistance here and uh, down below when it stop forming a lower low i mark a line which says it's a support i keep doing that with all my heiken ashi levels the moment it stops forming a lower low that area is a support for me and the moment it stops forming a higher high that area is a resistance for me right now when you switch back to your uh, 15 minute chart you will find that you have a support and resistance line which is drawn almost picture perfect so at every given point you will find that price has reacted and if you if you do it on a bank nifty chart indices uh, that is your uh, spot chart and uh, you shift it to a one hour chart you will know exactly where your support and resistance lines are 
this is one and uh, I have a support here. I have a support here where it formed a low, uh, higher low. So I just keep tracking back in time to see I have various areas of support and resistance. Ideally, I should have marked it here and uh, we just keep going on backward. But you don't need to do this uh, so far back because you know what you need is a support and resistance at the current level of price. So when I see the price is somewhere here on my normal chart, let me say, what I need to know is where is my resistance above and where is my support below. This is all I need to know to trade. So the moment I see a downtrending move on the spot chart, I know that I'm going to look at uh, the put option. So I will concentrate here for my entry. My entry, as I said earlier, is above the high Kinashi candle high. Here I would have got an entry, but the most ideal entry point would have been this one at uh, exactly at around 11.45 candle which would have got you in at the lowest possible price. And also at the same time, your stop loss will be much lesser. Is this clear up till now? Without any other sound, I feel like I'm talking to myself. I'm sorry about that. But uh, we are looking at uh, how best to enter a trade. And what happens when you have uh, both the CE and the PE showing you a downward trend? It obviously means that premium meeting is going on and uh, you're not going to enter any trade at the time. What this does is it keeps you out of a bad trade on a day when uh, there's a sideways movement you know clearly that you are not getting an entry in CE or PE. So you just wait and uh, relax. You don't need to feel pressured into getting into a trade, which is a definite way of uh, ending up losing money. As long as you follow this simple rule, number one, no buying when you see a green high Kinashi candle. You will buy only above the high of a red candle. If you follow these two rules, there is no way in the world your trade is going to be wrong. You may have some anxious moments when the price is doing its thing, going up and down, but definitely you will not go, go wrong in your trades. Now, why do I not use indicators? I do use indicators. I'm uh, Though I mentioned in the group that indicators are useless, uh, right? I do use indicators like Bollinger Bands to tell me where to exit the trade. We all know the theory of Bollinger Bands, that uh, it forms a normal uh, bell curve called a normal distribution in statistics, right, where 95% of the observations fall within the band. If the prices fall outside the band, you know that sooner or later, they're going to get pulled back inside the band in the form of a pullback or a reversal, right? So what I do is I use this to exit my trade. And if it coincides with my support or resistance levels, it is all the more confirmation for me that I should get out of the trade. Can we have some voice, please, uh, of the others? Uh, sure. Really uh, sure, sorry, sir. So that's what uh, I was about to ask you. As soon as we are done with uh, one of the concepts, I'm sure you are covering a few of them today. So as soon yeah, as we sure, are done but, with uh, one of them, I'll. Uh, allow the participants to unmute. I'm actually them. done with two of them. One is uh, how do I decide the bias and how, number two is how do I enter the trade? Sure. So I'll, number, uh, I'll, number I'll allow Number three is uh, to... how do I mark support and resistance based on the high Kinashi candle. Understood. So I'll uh, allow these guys to unmute themselves. Yes. Guys, please uh, do it one by one. Uh, don't rush to ask your questions. Give it a pause and be a little civil. Okay. Um, Changing the permissions. Yes, you guys can go ahead. So, anyone who wants to unmute themselves, 
चीज को है यस आई वांट टू आस्क वन क्वेश्चन हम्म बेसिकली आई वांट आई वांट अ मोर क्लैरिटी हाउ टू डिसाइड वेदर इट्स अ चॉपे मार्केट और अ साइडवेज ओके द सिंपल थिंग इज फॉर डिसाइडिंग वेदर इट्स अ चॉपे मार्केट और नॉट you look at the ce and pe chart okay uh, what you do is you if both of them are pointing towards a uh, downward movement like uh, both of them are showing red candles you can be sure that it's a choppy market okay and the moment one of them becomes green you're seeing you're starting to see some momentum to the upside whether it's on the pe side or on the ce side that is exactly what you are looking for you don't want to enter a trade too early and sit and wait with anxious uh, thing mindset instead you enter exactly at the right time and uh, take your profit and get out because so as soon as one of the p or c turn green it means the decay is already happen and no more decay is going to happen correct the momentum is starting to build up from there see it takes a lot of strength to make a hikinashi red candle into green okay. considering that the hikinashi candle is calculated uh, using the average prices like if you see the open of every hikinashi candle is exactly at the uh, midpoint of the previous candle if you try Google, wikipedia or something for the hikinashi calculation you will find that the open price is previous period the hikinashi high plus low divided by 2 is the formula so every hikinashi candle will always open at the midpoint of the previous candle the moment okay, you I have wicks forming in the hikinashi candle it shows that there is a change in momentum either to the upside or to the downside now this wicks may last or not last as long as you don't have any wicks at the top of the red candle or uh, on the green candle right you are safe in assuming that your trend is very strong now when there is no trend when prices are drifting along sideways what it means is both these sides you will not find a green candle happening is this okay is this clear yes sir thank you you're welcome i'll wait for some more questions go ahead please ट्रेडिंग I actually don't consider anything as a breakout trading. For me, everything is trend trading. Okay, what you are trying to look at is how to enter at the right time in a trend, whether it breaks out of your previous levels or uh, whether it is just continuing in a trending move. Ultimately, every trading is only trend trading. We call it by different names. We say it's a breakout because we have got our eyes set on certain levels. So I don't have anything on as such as uh, you know in terms of levels. What I'm interested in is seeing whether the momentum is happening to the upside or the downside. The moment I see momentum shift from a red hikinashi candle to a green, I know for sure there's a lot of strength which the buyers are putting. Okay, it may succeed, it may not succeed, depending on how far the strength of the sellers is. But at any given point in time. it takes a lot of effort to move the green candle in, i mean a red candle into a green right i'm talking about this only purely in the context of an option chart later when we look at the stock charts we will see how to use this for both buying and shorting okay swaminathan ji uh, can you uh, explain us like if we have done today's trade how how uh, where, where exactly have entered and uh, where you have uh, i know you have sure mentioned thing, that sure thing sure thing what i did was i put the charts in us, 15 minutes okay yeah and if you can also explain us if you have uh, done trade on the previous day as well that will also help us previous day yes yesterday also i traded in fact i trade every day 
sometimes i get screwed sometimes i am pretty successful yesterday was one of those days where i didn't have much of a profit but anyway i'll uh, explain to you the moment i have a open with a high financial rate my first ta- task is to place a pending buy order above the high of the first candle now if the first red candle high is not broken i wait for the high of the red- second red candle to break so i move my pending buy order to this level and i keep doing this as long as there is no break of my previous high financial rate am i clear up to this point so i got an entry on the break of this red candle which was at 147.09 but uh, when you look at the normal candle at that time the price was 141.65 i placed my slm order here but i got my order triggered at 140 so that is how it was then i had some anxious moments about uh, why my profit is not going up stop loss was also not hitting so i thought it's a pretty much a sideways market so i am not going to make money out of this trade today so what i did was the moment a solid green candle formed i started moving my stop loss to the entry point so that no matter what happens at least i'll not lose money and after that we started seeing a little bit of subsequent upward movements which was giving me a light confidence that uh, price could be trending upward and uh, let me remove this bollinger band because it's not relevant for us so when i saw that price is going above my entry price i had moved my stop loss to break even which was above the high of this candle which is uh, the fourth candle so with that what happened was uh, i knew worst can i worst case scenario i'll have a zero profit zero loss and uh, i just left it at that and this actually was a surprise to me this big uh, green candle was a huge surprise to me it just uh, i didn't expect this much of movement normally what i look for is to see if i can make uh, double what i have entered at meaning i look for a 100% return some days i may get only 70 80% some days i may get 30 40% when the market is moving sideways but on a good trending day 100% or even 200% is easy easy to achieve this is what i was hoping for but today was a day which uh, surpassed all my expectations i ended up uh, getting out of the trade at around 540 rupees so my entry was at 140 and uh, exit was at 540 anything uh, else i need to clarify sir a lot of people want to ask questions guys let's do this uh, one person just ask one question and then let's move on or else we will keep this the whole if we get time towards the end of it we'll uh, uh, give 30 minutes or so for the questions okay okay so i'll be unmuting uh, one of you i mean i'll be unmuting all of you one by one just keep asking the question but one question uh, per person thank you exactly see normally when you place an order to buy above the high of a red candle you know that only one of these things can get triggered either ce or pe in my case uh, today i got the ce executed also at one stage and it hit my stop loss the pe was very kind to me that it did not hit my stop loss so i was continuing with that trade also Acha Swami sir, I have a little question for you. Yes, please. Uh, the, uh, question is, uh, how do you like? You said that you once you see the Bank Nifty index or Nifty index. Uh-huh. Now, once you have seen the index, thereafter you go to the PE or C chart, and based on that, you enter, uh, you place your orders on both PE and C charts. Yes. So you because you on... know, uh, you know that index can move any time, uh, anywhere. Yes, I didn't yes, want yes. to leave it to chance. Okay. 
So if once you have in CE, I'll trade CE. If I get entry in PE, I'll trade PE. So you because I stopped shifting. predicting the index. I I don't think I can predict the index. Okay, perfectly fine. Uh, so you keep on shifting your entry points. No, uh, all I do is I have to mark two pending orders. No. Okay. okay. I don't have to shift anything. I have to shift it only as long as the high is not broken. Okay. Every fifteen so, minutes, I'll just modify my order and say this is a new price at which I want to enter. Okay. So finally, when you enter, it is based on the candle uh, that is. It is always based on the candle. The high energy price, because it's an average price, it is not a true reflection of the current price. Okay. Ah, uh, final question is: How do you decide as to what is the bias of the market? I told you in the beginning that uh, when I look at uh, the opening price of the uh, first candle, right? When the market opens, I look at the open price. If the price is trading below this, obviously it is forming a red candle, which shows that it's in a downward move. The bias is downward. If it is trading And, uh, above the green, above the opening price, it means it's formed a green candle. So the bias is towards the upside. Now so I know. You don't use Heiken Ashi into the bias deciding uh, candles, but only uh, a normal candle for deciding the bias, right? Exactly. I, all I'm interested in, frankly, is whether the price is trading above the open or below the open. Okay. So you, right. um, if I may, I'll take a little second uh, of one more, you know, clarifying this. Like uh -huh. you start the day with the index seeing of normal candle. Uh, you don't decide the bias based on your Heiken Ashi candles. Heiken Ashis are used as entry points for your trades, beat options, or stock, and also for my trend confirmation. The moment okay. I've entered a trade, I need okay. to know that my trend is still continuing, right? Okay. I need and to know that my my decision of taking a PE is correct or not. So I keep looking at this uh, by switching over to Heiken Ashi and seeing whether my trend is down. And your stop loss is at the lowest of the low of the previous candle. Entry right? candle. Okay, the low candle. of my entry candle. Okay, so whatever candle we enter, we just keep the stop loss at the low of that particular Heiken Ashi candle. Correct, not Heiken Ashi. Sorry, a regular candle. Okay, so, so you always enter based on the regular candle price. Heiken okay. Ashi price can be substantially different than this. Here, okay. if it shows one forty one, it may show Heiken Ashi may be one eighty. We don't okay. want to enter at one eighty. Okay. Number one, your order will not get triggered. Number two is okay. uh, it will not be the most optimal price to enter. Okay. And so we wait till the time stop losses are hit. Uh, Correct. The entry is, and it is based on the candles itself and not on the high kanashi. Not on the high kanashi. High kanashi is to tell me where should I enter, what is the right time to enter. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Right. That, thank you so much. Thank you. That's a uh, very really nice issue. Thank you, sir. Okay, guys. Before we proceed with other questions, uh, two things. First is you would be seeing a raise hand option on your screen somewhere. Use that so I'll know that you have some questions. That is one. The second thing, if you have any English, not understanding, or if you have any Hindi question, you can ask. You can ask. I will convert it to Hindi. So I will tell you. It is a little bit Hindi. It is uncomfortable. So if you have any Hindi question, you can ask. You can ask. You can ask. You can ask. Okay, so I will be unmuting. Also, I will be unmuting people only once. If you mute yourself again, I will not be unmuting you again. Mac, you are next. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening. Very good evening to you. Okay. To introduce, I am also from Chennai. Let us. Oh, great. We keep outside, and I am also old like you, but not <laughs> old as much as you. I am just forty-six. <laughs> Okay, we are very less old. Is no, let us not waste our best time. My only yeah. question is today's exit. Why did you exit at five forty? How you are able to get that level? Okay, I'll I'll share that with you. This has always been my biggest problem, knowing where to exit. Not only you, okay. because I enter into a trade with ten rupees, twenty rupees, forty rupees, whatever it is, I get afraid when it starts coming down. I just exit and come down. This is common to everybody. What I did was I marked the support and resistance levels based on my uh, high energy chart. So what I'll do is I'll mark it here. If you see this, I had a situation where uh, I was able to mark a few levels. Okay, this was on more obvious level. 
the moment price crossed above this level and I, it crossed also this one i knew that my next level was somewhere around 547 so i just took a random number and said 540 i'll exit because it is impossible to exit exactly at 547 am i clear Sir, you can, uh, and uh, uh, sorry, I think yeah. uh, okay. Now uh, you told you choose the strike price on Fridays for OTM. Fridays, Fridays, it's always for OTM because when the market is choppy and uh, there is a lot of premium eating going on towards the end of Friday, it is better that you enter at a lower strike price in option buying because the uh, chances of a downside risk are lower. There is no point in entering an ATM and losing the entire premium. So okay, I now, to keep it smaller how, how, how far? Like, what is your average price? Like, 100? Like, uh, today, when the market was uh, had opened at what? Uh, 36,497, right? Yes. So I, I took a strike price of 35,000 PE, which is okay. the chart you see here. And just in case the market goes up, I said that let me take a 38,000 strike price on the CE side. I I keep around 1,500 points away. On on Fridays and balance on days, you keep shifting nearer. Correct. I shift nearer uh, from Monday. Probably I'll take a little bit closer to the money. And uh, Tuesday uh, is usually again a premium meeting day, and I only see choppy markets on Tuesdays unless there's some special event or something so again i move my strike prices a little bit closer but at the same time not too close wednesdays and thursdays i'm as close to atm as possible great great thank you very much let us keep our discussion if anything is there outside the forum i will contact you personally thank you no very much problem. anytime thank you very much i'm unmuting myself thank you oh, sure thank you Thank you. You are next. Please admit yourself. Uh, hi, Swaminathan, sir. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Okay. So, um, so my question is like, uh, what the risk reward ratio we can expect from this one? I'm sorry if I missed early because my audio was not working. Okay. What is the risk reward ratio you want to see? Yeah. Very clear. Right from the entry point till the exit point. All right, your risk is uh, below the uh, I can actually red candle, which is uh, on this candle. So let me move on to the normal candle, right? If I enter here, my stop loss is uh -huh. 130 for a entry price of 137 or 140. So 10 points risk versus uh -huh. uh, what 300 points and more. Normally, today was a big spike. Okay, normally I expect at least about 80 to 100 percent return on my trade. So if I put in mm -hmm. 10,000, I want 10,000 in my PL. Some days it will happen, some days it may give you only 70 percent or 80 percent. Uh, I leave that to the market. But my, my expectation when I get into the trade is to make at least double my money. Mm -hmm. I don't trade with big capital. I trade with uh, not more than 25K and I make my money out of that. I keep uh, plowing back this money into my next day's trading. Uh, I'm basically compounding and leveraging in the sense uh, my broker, Asta Trade, gives me three times uh, margin for my option buying trade, which means okay. with 25,000, I can trade up to 75,000. My lot size can be higher. To that okay. extent, I uh, use somebody lot. else's money to make my money. Okay, got it. So, okay, my, my last question is like, uh, oh, Saturday, uh, sorry, Thursday. Uh, how long you hold the trade? Uh, because you know that uh, the my trade is always intraday. Zero. My trade is always intraday. I never hold it for the next day. 
whether it's no, no, only on thursday i'm talking about thursday thursdays uh, generally what happens is when you get an entry uh, thursday i typically trade only atm okay if i get an entry in okay. pe then that means my pe trade is going to be in the money at the end of the day that is where you get huge profits because as the delta increases your uh, rate of uh, profitability becomes higher the moment your atm trade becomes itm you don't have to worry about anything else yes you need to worry about a sudden reversal but as long as that does not happen your profit will be going growing at a accelerated rate okay Is so okay answer? so i got yeah yeah i got, got both my answers so mera piece i also do yeah, some I... uh, little bit of a gambling because i have that uh, you know gambler's edge what i do is i enter into a trade at around 230 or 245 again atm i do okay. a str- uh, straddle and i let it run okay. till the end of the day sometimes it gives big money sometimes it uh, makes you lose on both sides but that is just my okay. gambling nature the directional trades are always based on high kinetic entry and uh, a clear sense of direction as to where it is going uh, okay sir um, my third question is just and um, this is last question so mm-hmm. you, you don't uh, so you don't recommend to hold the overnight trade i never do it there uh, because i have been hurt many times at the same time sometimes i have also benefited in the sense uh, i buy at uh, option towards the end of the day and next day if there's a gap up or gap down i make a huge money but it's not a very constant feature uh, like typically you will enter into a straddle or a strangle at the end of the day one side will win and another side will lose we don't know yeah. which side your delta is going to be faster or not so it's better not to take that kind of risk i prefer to close my trades intraday morning i buy okay. evening i close and uh, sleep peacefully knowing that the money okay. is in my bank account okay yeah thank you thank you sir thank you very much uh sir uh guys before i mute the next person please stick to your top question we will do a little more question here to go at the end but uh, let's not let's not uh, you know extend it too much Ashish, you are next. I'm an, uh, asking you to unmute yourself, please. Go ahead. Okay. Good evening, sir. Uh, I am Ashish evening. from Chennai. Yeah, Ashish. Okay, uh, sir. Uh, actually, uh, that most of the members has already asked that uh, my already questions. But mm. one last question is from my side, sir. Mm. Uh, can you give a, another example of that all this thing you uh, you have explained for today's trade? In any we'll other a, day, shall we take a stock, or uh, you want only options? No, sir. Options already. You know, we will take that stock, sir. But a small request was just a two three I minutes. I have no stock. problem at all, yar. I have no problem at all. The only but small one one minute only. The one which is not any asked. This is the small. You take request. any other day and uh, look at your charts and the background of this thing. No, the same knowledge is applicable every day, right? Yes. no assuming that you wanted me to enter on this uh, day which is 4th of uh, march i would have waited for my high kinetic candle to turn green, uh, red yes sir sorry wait a minute i screwed up okay my high kinetic when it is green i le- refuse to buy okay rule number 1 rule number 2 when it is red i buy above the high of the red ultimately in the end uh, it got broken at this stage this is at 1 o'clock 1 o'clock candle was broken by 115 candle okay yes sir third of fourth uh, of march sorry i'll zoom out this was the ent- entry trigger above the high of the red candle so when you switch back to a normal candle at 1 o'clock you will find that you had a very very small red candle and guys when you see the candle size becoming smaller whether it's in high kinetic or in any other normal candlestick chart you know that the momentum is slowing down and the trend is weakening 
so this was exactly the right point to enter the trade and stop loss is very less yes stop loss will be low yes a six point only initially though i'll mention that uh, when you try it out for the first time it will be very very scary because uh, you will feel what happens if my stop loss gets hit if it gets hit it gets hit that's it you can't do anything about it yeah yeah yes sir and then the here system. you would have got your stop loss hit unless you had uh, created a buffer exactly close at 392 low and the low of the next candle was also 392 which was also the open try to keep yeah. a little bit of a buffer okay yes, for bank nifty i keep at least 10 points because i know 10 points it will easily hit yeah i guess sir it may be stupid on my part but this is what i do ideally what you should be looking for is to find out uh, whether you can identify a support around that area if you have the support you know that uh, you can be doubly sure you're going to get in at the lowest price and uh, you're going to ride the wave yes sir so, yes sir. here is a case actually i would have uh, not made as much profit as i wanted because i did not hold the trade for next day i entered at 390 398 and uh, probably i would have got out at around 550 not a bad profit but if you had held the trade for the next day you would have got out at 863 or maybe even higher higher more than that it's possible but i prefer not to gamble with these things because uh, at any given point in time all i need to know is that i'm closing the day with a green mtm okay that is the important thing that is very important you try to avoid closing with a red mtm by doing all kinds of jugglery but sometimes it is inevitable you may have to close with a red uh, pnl it's okay i mean it's not the end of the world market is going to be there tomorrow also yes sir it will never end <laughs> correct yeah sir. So, right sir got to think sir okay thank you very much thank you thank you, thank you sir josh you are next Please go ahead. You are muted. Five seconds, or else I have to go ahead. Okay. For me, sir, I am not sure what happened with uh, Josh. I think you can progress with that. Sorry. We can we can proceed with the session. I think uh, Josh was unable to speak. I okay, the next session is problem. actually an unscheduled kind of a session because somebody asked me a question about uh, stock options, right? I would like to briefly share that with you guys. What I normally do is uh, when I look at a stock option. it actually tells me uh, it actually kind of indicates to me that uh, one big problem is already solved when i trade a stock option right in the sense that i look at the top gainers and losers on nse at uh, 15 minute intervals maybe two or three times around 9:45 or something i look at it but uh, right from 9:15 i'll be refreshing this right i'll be looking at either the nifty 50 or the fndo securities to look at the top gainers or losers depending on where the index is trading at that time if the index is uh, trading in red i will look at uh, losers if it is the index is in green i will look at gainers the biggest problem it solves for me is to decide on the bias for the day now it tells me that uh, if i see a top gainer on a day when nifty is trading in green i know that my direction should be on call option not on put option makes it very simple for me so what i do is i add one of these stocks into my watch list and say let me get rid of these things let us say i am trading bpcl first is i need to know what is my spot price 
then i add 3% to the spot price to decide my strike so 457 into 1.03 it tells me that i can go up to a price of 470 for my trade so i take bpcl 470c sorry why do i keep screwing it up so you see that uh, you are going to look at an opportunity to buy bpcl because on the it was on the top gainers list okay today was a exceptional day when everything fell down but uh, even here you had a buy opportunity right if you had waited until your uh, hikinashi candle gives you a signal right it gave you a signal at 215 in the evening so you go back to your normal candle 215 candle is this you buy above the high of this which is 8.6 right you have made a easy 2 bucks on this easy 2 bucks on a lot size of how much 1800 so you got a 3600 rupee profit very coolly but uh, let us look at the losers now if you look at the losers here and look at f uh, the thing f and o securities you could have taken any of these things and uh, entered into a pe trade which i'm sure would have been profitable so it depends on what losers you find at around 945 and whether they have been losers since 915 915 930 945 it's appearing in the losers list it means that there is a downward momentum being built up so you you can be pretty confident on that trade when you take the pe side in a worst case scenario supposing this trade goes wrong what i will do is i'll hedge myself in the opposite side i'll buy a pe and wait in the case of stock options supposing i don't make my profit on the same day i will hold it for next two or three days maximum and preferably not towards the end of the month because i have been burnt very badly by holding stocks till the end of the month uh, till the last expiry it has been a big drain on my capital so ideally you are looking at uh, how to trade a stock option you look at uh, top gainers and losers right look at your nifty index wh- what it is doing and take the appropriate side right if i had taken let's say indalco first we want the spot price which is 330 then we want to know what is 3% of that to 1.03 will give me 339 so i'll probably look at 340 or something 340 c here you had a fantastic ride you are on the p oh sorry this is a c oops indalco was a top loser or gainer indalco was a loser so we want uh, 330 into 0.97 which is 3% less so indalco 320 p am i right yeah so where did i get a entry based on my hikinashi chart i look at the entry point i would have got entry here and uh, maybe i would have continued with that trade right so if you look at the normal candle at this time which is 10:30 in the morning you were you would enter above the high of this price 3.75 and look where it went your double your money for a 4300 lot size you spent uh, 3.75 and probably you would have gotten out only around this time when you started getting worried is 6.8 so 
it's roughly around uh, 3.8 to 6.8 three rupees profit times uh, lot size 4300 into 3 you could have made a profit of 12900 on this trade is this clear to everyone because uh, rambo uh, if you want to can unmute yourself yeah so uh, i think the one which you're looking for is the close price so i think the opening might have been a different uh, so what we are looking at hindalco is 330 which is a close price right so so what you're looking at is, uh, see, you're looking based on the current price at around, uh, this is e actually a close price. Your open price was somewhere around 341. Correct. So you would have taken an appropriate strike price based on that. 341 into 0 0.97. 330 you would have taken as a PE. Uh, any reason? 0 0.097? The reason is uh, typically in a top gainer, top loser stock, you expect to see at least three to five percent movement. Okay. I I try to keep at the lower end of that. Sometimes I've traded uh, even five percent, six percent above. See, basically what you're doing is you're going very far out of the money. And you for okay. an intraday trade, unless the momentum is very strong, the far OTM will not give you money. It will not give you much money. Right. So three percent away from the current market price is fine. If you if you feel that it's going to cost you too much in terms of capital, then you can always go for a further away strike price. No big deal. Instead of putting in twenty five thousand bucks, I may probably trade with twelve thousand bucks. Okay. Well, it, it, um, I mean, uh, to be honest, this was a very good session and a very good webinar. What I would feel um, so far that. Uh, this is something that new I've learned. Uh, there was one of my friends who had a similar kind of uh, strategy which he was using uh, in Heike mm -hmm. Uh But I think you have cleared more of uh, uh, more of how do we go with the uh, entry points and the stop loss. Exactly. Because so thank you very much. Uh, most of the time, the people who teach Heike Nashi talk about uh, waiting for two ca green candles to form and then entering. Oh. Right. In my mind, uh, that is actually bullshit because uh, you are entering a little bit away into the trend. Obviously, your profitability will be curtailed. And in this, uh, Swami Nathanji, in this, uh, if you see Indalco, I think the entry was not exactly at 12. Uh, if you switch back to the uh, Ekinashi candle, yeah. See, if you see the actually, lower it was one, here. Was yeah. you would have got in here slightly ahead of time actually see the problem is you know most of the time when you're trading right you would uh, en end up entering too early uh, sometimes after some experience you your eye will start getting a feel for it and say okay this is probably not the best place to enter but uh, even if you enter at a higher price here three rupees 95 paisa instead of three rupees 85 paisa right, right. 375 right. It won't make a big deal of difference. Only thing it can make a lot of difference is on your stop loss. This is where you need to be careful. Here you would have kept your stop loss at 355 and it would have got hit here. Correct. Right? This, right. Is, something, this is something I don't think we can avoid. Yeah, the I only way you can do it I'm, is... What I can okay, understand what I, is... What I can tell you is when you are looking at a top loser in a negative market... Right. Your stop loss is not the biggest of your concern. Right. Uh, I right. see the risk reward ratio is also you know, uh, pretty good in this. And, it uh, is always look at excellent the... in any scenario, whether you buy futures or options or uh, normal stocks, equities, commodities, everywhere your risk reward will be fantastic, provided you have the momentum. If momentum is not there, Anyway, it is going to get, chew you up and uh, you're going to either lose or you make very small profits at the end of the day. What you right. need is the momentum, right? And Correct. ideally, when you feel that the momentum is picking up, you can enter the trade. For, for some people who prefer to use indicators, I can suggest that uh, you can use uh, Bollinger Bands with uh, another indicator called Money Flow Index, which will tell you 
where exactly your momentum is going to happen like whether it's on the downside or the upside now let me take an example on this itself uh, in nifty bank right i put in uh, the bollinger bands indicator right? right we all know the theory of bollinger bands uh, that uh, the upper band is two standard deviations away from 20 mo moving average and the lower band is uh, two standard de deviations below the moving average all this uh, theory we know right what we would want to know is at this time when the bollinger band is squeezing indicating low volatility which side you're going to have a breakout this is something uh, we'd be interested in knowing right right so what you do is uh, you add a money flow index to this okay oh this is on the index i'm sorry so let me take a stock icic bank uh, we could take bpcl itself or okay. let's take bpcl for instance see at this point when the bollinger bands are getting squeezed you know that the volatility is pretty low right i'll change the money flow index uh, settings slightly i'll make this uh, as 50 and uh, for the above part i'll make it as green and uh, below part i'll make it as red for easy visibility the moment i know that the bollinger band squeeze is happening and at the same time the money flow index is crossing above 50 i know that the price is moving towards the downside upside okay. on the contrary if there is a squeeze in the bollinger bands uh, in the bollinger band and the money flow index is dropping down it tells me that price is tending to move downward so i can expect it to move down to the lower part of the bollinger band okay yeah this looks much you know i think this aids to uh, the you know the current scenario that you was also trading mm -hmm. um, there's one more thing i wanted to ask you uh, swami okay. ji if you look at that bpcl uh, you had mentioned um, that the option started around 9 um, if you go back to that BPCL, um, I'm on the BPL, BPCL chart, uh, spot chart. I'm option, here. Option. Okay. Uh, you'll have to change this to Hekanash again. Yes, of course. Display Hekanashi. Yeah. We are on and our BPCL. entry started at around. Yeah, we started our uh, um, two fifteen. Yes, exactly. So two fifteen. What was the normal that, candle uh, price? Your normal candle price was around uh, eight point six high side. Uh, okay, because it's it's weird that it's showing here as um, you now uh, when we look at it, Heikenashi it is showing us nine uh, to enter nine. Correct. Uh, I told you, no, Heikenashi is based on average prices. So the price you see on the normal candle may not always match what you see on the Heikenashi. Okay. So here we, that means we are entering the price at, uh, entry at 9 8. rupees. 8.6 actually is the price at which I would put my order. 8.6 or maybe 8.7, depending on whether I want to keep a buffer or not. I do not look okay. at Heikenashi okay. candle for the price. Heikenashi candle is to tell me where to enter and what at what time. Okay. Even if you place an order, right, you will put a SLM uh -huh. order at 9. You will en enter a little bit late. Still no big deal. You would have still made some profit, but not as much as you would have liked. Right? Yeah. Assuming you had entered at nine nine rupees, right? You saw this candle has gone to ten point one, gives you a hope. Then this candle pushes down your hope. Low is nine point one. Then yeah, the next no, candle it... gives you again some hope. <laughs> now, uh, if you change back to this Heikenashi, uh, your entry point it clearly shows as uh, nine. It will show because Heikenashi is calculated as 
the because it has to break that uh, point and only then we would be entering it right not really you you will enter you are looking at your high kinetic candle for the time okay 215 okay. candle is a red candle i know i want to buy above the high of this candle at this time right Correct. instead of taking the high kinetic price which is 9.06 anyway you would not have been entered at uh, entering at 9.06 even assuming you want to enter only on the basis of high kinetic candle high let us say you place an order at 9.10 what is the worst thing that will happen to you stop loss kuch nahi stop loss will not hit 9.1 you would have entered your stop loss would have been 7.7 .7. no if you go with high kinetic candle um no the question here is uh, uh, if you do mark uh, horizontal line or exactly at 9 because that's the entry point which we we think we would be thinking that okay we will have to enter now okay. uh, in in the next uh, that is at uh, 215 or uh, above we would find that the breakout might have happened so that is what i'm trying to correlate uh, with this let us see this thing now the breakout has happened from 9 9 rupees 10 paisa right yeah so what would your stop loss have been stop loss let us say we will go strictly by the high kinetic candle right right you you would have the stop loss at the low of this candle which is 7.7 after you kept the stop loss you place the entry order entry got triggered at any point in time did the price come back to 7.7 it did not come back stop loss was no. never hit all you had was a smaller gain right by around probably 50 paisa 50 paisa is a big deal especially for anything a stock like indalco yeah anything gain is actually a worth in, in this market to be honest actually you know what this is what uh, is a big myth we are all facing we read a lot of books and attend a lot of courses which keep telling you the same thing they have learned from other books okay somebody says i have understood this concept very well so i want to explain to others that's how this youtube courses are born no uh, i think i may not have gone to that extent but yeah <laughs> uh, but your concept is very good <laughs> the concept is very good that you know where we need to take an entry uh, yes. i think this will help more the traders to you know uh, this what in fact more gives important. more momentum as well honestly what is more important is not uh, whether you got the entry at the right price or not it gives you that mental confidence that you can hold on to the trade without getting too worried right right so you won't exit in a panic Correct. when you see a red candle forming you know that high kinetic is still flashing green right right if you still I've, have I've doubts i've used this high kinetic a pretty long time ago you if you still uh, have doubts i, I did no, use this to a time higher time frame and see the high kinetic candle that will give you a lot of confidence about whether you should stick on to the trade or not but most of the time i find 15 minute works very well for me i don't try to enter on a lower time frame though i may get a cheaper entry price by 2 or 5 rupees right it doesn't matter in the context of bank nifty which i trade every day i i hardly trade stock options but this is some secret which i have always been having up my sleeve i thought i'll just share it with you all problem of direction is uh, gone the moment you start trading uh, stock options you don't need to think about the direction of the bias you know if it is loser my bias is p if it is gainer my bias is going to be only c that's all i need to know and after that what matters is actually the entry the entry is what will make or break your trade like thank you swami nathan ha ji you are welcome I think uh, there are others also waiting for the question, so let me not waste their time. No problem. Yeah, sir. Hello. Yeah. Uh, it's me, Aman, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Aman. How are you? 
Yes, sir. Actually, uh, what you are doubting today is yes, actually all the doubts are already clear from my side. But some of question I am uh, reading on the chat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> First of all, what I have asked you in starting that uh, can I trade uh, with this charity uh, in equity cash market? Definitely. Absolutely. Uh, definitely, it's work. Uh, but at starting, it's somewhere lag because I was working on two or three different strategies. You are trying now to I'm catch definitely... too many rabbits at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, now I am currently catching on your and your rabbit only. It's worked mm-hmm. better. And uh, you know, as uh, I am sharing my experience, uh, I traded around uh, four days on this strategy. Uh, first two days was very difficult for me. Uh, because is. there was uh, because there was breakdown also and maybe something bad luck also at first day i did mistake second day market did mistake with me and third day uh, <laughs> there was no mis- no mistake absolutely i uh, end up with a good M- uh, mtm and okay. uh, today also it's uh, it was very good day I, I you know as i like to do sorting so market is much as much falling yeah it is very nice for you today <laughs> yeah it's it was very nice day all the bank uh, banking uh, company fall and i sorted each one every one 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 but i am sorting every every com- every banking sector up with a five point yeah and nice. uh, and there uh, there was one more question from the one person uh, uh mahesh uh, he was actually asking about uh, uh you tell me that a uh, charting uh, about charting we have to mm-hmm. run some script and uh, we can get the uh, high volume lower pri- uh, price stock which uh, we can uh, in which we can do scalping in which can we can do a lot more uh, quantity uh, with uh, less and less margin no uh, unfortunately uh, as of today zerosa seems to have caught up with this thing i don't know maybe it is because i posted in our uh, telegram channel <laughs> that advantage is gone now you will <laughs> no, see no but uh, no but advantage is uh, there always no, it's still uh, because there, uh, because the person don't know the high volume stocks are there and the uh, entry price is very less this yeah, was a true. big thing uh, actually we are trading uh, i am trading in uh, uh, sdfc bank it is what it was around 1500 uh, i can't uh, buy lo- uh, more quantity is uh, there there is high risk also and if i am going to in federal bank there is today lots of volume and if we are doing 2 3 rupees scalping also it's, it was uh, making a good mtn okay, it's a good point you raised aman let me explain it to for the benefit of everybody uh, so that they will also understand it is possible to trade with uh, 8 to 10 times uh, margin even in today's scenario okay right sir so what we basically do is i i had been looking for a low margin scenario because i didn't have funds in my zeroda account i trade primarily with asta so asta gives me a buying leverage so i use that but sometimes i like to see if i can trade in zeroda with lower margins so when i was hunting for something like that i was looking at low price stocks like somewhere in the region of you know 30 to 200 250 kind of prices and interestingly i found many of these stocks which are not there in zerodas equity margin list right they tend to give you a lot of uh, margin like uh, for instance this uh, moil okay is a share where though the price is 155 rupees for a zero margin scenario you should have been paying 155 per share right but they yes. are asking you to pay a margin of only 17 rupees yeah so 155 divided by 17 is the number of times margin you get and interestingly i found some stocks like ujjivan small finance bank which only asks you for 3 rupees 71 paisa uh, it it was around sir 9.5x margin correct so and uh, this is a very interesting uh, share which i came across schneider electric it has a good amount of movement during the intraday sessions and uh, here you find that you have to pay only 13 rupees to buy a 102 rupee share so you you guys can take advantage of this kind of shares what i do to identify the share is i look at uh, my charting scanners i like to see whether there's a bullish trend or a bearish trend so i have two scanners for that and this i think i've shared in the group yeah, uh, where uh, where uh, uh, not everyone scanners. not everyone is there no 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 actually uh, for everyone i've shared it yeah uh, 
people are asking about how do you identify a momentum stock and sir one more thing uh, left uh, behind uh, you tell me uh, to go on nic uh, nsc.com and uh, download the rar file and uh, Bob, run it. yeah bab copy file yes yeah yeah that that's also very useful i'm working on it uh, absolutely daily and it's very that, very helpful in equity cash market see that is useful uh, in the sense uh, you only get the eod data okay Uh, today if the price has gone down tomorrow there's no guarantee it'll go down further no but, uh, but uh, we can download it daily na <laughs> you can download it daily but uh, during market hours what the market will do you don't know right yeah right right so what i do is i have two scanners which i develop myself purely based on the price action uh, if the price is moving continuously towards the lower side towards the low of the day it means the momentum is downward so i have the scanner which tells me that these are the stocks which are uh, moving down today so what i do is instead of futures i select the cash segment this is where the hidden uh, benefits will be there like you get uh, stocks priced from 100 rupees to upward of 2500 and and okay. all the stocks are which are mentioned here they have a good movement that's the main they point they have by and large they have a good movement Yeah. and uh, sometimes when the volume is very low you don't want to trade those kinds of stocks yes yeah, sir so you look for a volume of at least about 1 lakh or 1 lakh plus you know that like sir there is asoka asoka build con limited yes that's asoka right. yeah yeah this this type of stocks are always always helpful in equity gas market if uh, as uh, as sir you only tell me, told me that day that uh, if uh, some stock of 100 rupees is giving us uh, one uh, 104 uh, 4 and 5 rupees growth or uh, Correct, short it's almost uh, no, 4% it's, uh, it's, yeah yeah it's almost very 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 nice actually i tell you because if you are doing 5 point in uh, 1500 or 1000 rupees stock that's not much useful correct and uh, see if you get a 4% move on some stock here and it also happens to have a low margin requirement then you are golden because uh, a 4% move with roughly about 8% uh, i mean 8 times uh, margin is 32% return right sir so you are uh, you get a chance to make more money with less money that is yes, the idea sir. basically when my capital is low in zeroda i still want to use zeroda for my trading i use it only for trading equity stocks and i look for stocks like this uh, my favorites are uh, philips carbon black which has got a decent intraday move and uh, the schneider electric schneider uh, these are not stocks where you know the promoter will pump and dump yes yeah, they have a fairly larger base yeah, and yeah. Uh, and bar at the yes sir we can, sir we can, sir, we can uh, as you said me sir before we can choose a uh, good stocks from them uh, who have a good uh, uh, good uh, good market capitalization etc we can what you want in... to see is uh, in a 15 minute chart you don't want to see blanks anywhere yeah yes you want to see continuous trading activity plus when you see the volume you will come to know that these are not small stocks sir uh, as i am sharing my one, one more experience i uh, you told me that uh, you took a 15 minute chart or one hour chart uh, to uh, to draw the support and resistance and put the 5 minute any time frame uh, mm. on normal candle you will see the actual level of support and resistance this exactly. is the sir, biggest biggest point to notice actually i am very 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 much working on it uh, Uh, but the people here i want to only share my experience actually i am not uh, telling this uh, i am not sharing on my personal knowledge actually i went uh, through this uh, swami sir session personal also uh, within more than hour at night uh, he to he taught me many things so i was sharing this and uh, because i worked uh, with this in live market so i am sharing this there is no personal concern that i know already about it i am sharing anything of me i'm i'm sorry to interrupt you can we uh, quickly come to the major point you wanted to uh, describe i mean people might want to log off uh, it's already 11 i think you yeah, are yeah. going to uh, yeah 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 i am already done sir no 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 i don't think you are done and uh, ap- uh, my apologies for interrupting you i'm not saying that you are not uh, giving the good information you were saying something about uh, marking supports and the distances at uh, 5 to 15 minutes time frame and stuff can you quickly get right, to that Please do that. I'm I'm really sorry if you felt I was. Uh, no, it's just no, it's just. 
Swami sir, sir, what Aman uh, is saying is uh, that the system of marking based on the high energy chart for your support and resistance has been found to be working very well. The reason it works is it is also looking at price movement and where it has been. So if I mark a high energy based uh, support or resistance somewhere in the back of this uh, chart, when the price reaches that level, obviously it will react. This is what we do in a normal candlestick also, right? When we look for uh, areas where there is a congestion and look at where, where the support could be and all those things. But the high energy tells me that the maximum point at which the price has turned is exactly here. Yeah, sir, right. So wherever you see on the chart after putting it back to the normal candle, you will find that price has reacted there. That if the price has not been there earlier, then you have an issue. You have an issue in terms of marking the support and resistance. Supposing we have reached the all-time high, and after that, what do you do? Where is my support or where is my resistance? So if I'm at all-time high and I need to know the resistance, I need to use the Fibonacci tool or the uh, uh, pivot points to make an estimate as to where I could have a price congestion or a reaction. So typically, if let us assume this is an all-time high. Now, where, where do I go from here? So what I do is I mark my Fibonacci line from here. Right? And uh, 61.8 on the upside or the downside, whichever side it is, generally is an area where prices will react. You have the golden ratios of uh, Fibonacci. So what I have observed is when the price crosses 23.6 level and then goes beyond 38.2, that usually is a trend origination and a trend confirmation level. And uh, the price reaching 61.8 or you know 78.6 levels, generally these are called the reversal points. If the price has to reverse, it will definitely reverse from there. If it doesn't right, reverse and goes beyond that, then obviously you will have a, f a bigger breakout and you will see a bigger upside momentum. So uh, you have to use Fibonacci or pivot lines in case you reach a level where the price has not gone there before. All time high, all time low. How do I estimate where it'll stop next? I can look at multiple time frames and say monthly chart is saying this, weekly chart is saying this. Right? That is also a perfectly beautiful way of uh, assessing your support or I mean demand or uh, support levels or support and resistance levels. Right? I'll remove these lines. I can look at how the price has reacted on a higher time frame chart and mark my levels from there. I know that there is a significant level of support, uh, sorry, resistance here, 482 may. Oh, shit. Sorry about that, guys. As long as the price is not forming a higher high, I will mark that level. And you will see that uh, this price has reacted at that level for many times in the past and uh, you convert it back to a normal candle you will see that you got a almost perfect uh, resistance level here now do i take a buy trade here i never take a buy trade because i will uh, wait for this support or resistance to be breached here in this case resistance now the resistance has to be broken and then there has to be a retest and then a confirmation that his price is moving back in my direction only then i will take a trade but I need not worry about all these things because I'm using the Heikinashi candle. The moment I know that I'm in a red candle in Heikinashi, sorry about that, I clicked on the wrong thing. The moment I see a red candle here, I know that it's time to buy. What is the price at which I'll buy above the red candle high? You can use this for swing trading as well. If you want to get into a swing trade opportunity and if you prefer to hold on to your trades, this is a perfectly beautiful system where you can set your uh, stop loss and trail it to the low of the next candle. So each candle as it forms, you set your stop loss to the low and when it hits, you exit your trade. Does it make yes, sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, Sri Amu uh, has asked one question. Actually, sir, you cleared this in starting. Uh, mm -hmm. He is asking actually uh, when health uh, high candlestick is uh, uh, not broken uh, the candle, uh, but mm. normal candle uh, broken the high. 
what do uh, in that case actually sir uh, same as you said sir we are uh, working uh, to check the train uh, be, uh, from on the basis of high kensi so we will uh, absolutely uh, don't jump on the trade accordingly me uh, as Correct. you told uh, me when you when you see a high kensi candle high is uh, getting broken <clears throat> or sorry it is not broken but high normal candle is broken we enter the trade based on the normal candle not on the high kinetic candle high yeah. kinetic candle tells me this is the right time to buy yes sir you got getting a buy opportunity somewhere here so you wait for the high of the normal candle to break and then buy yes yeah, sir the all doubts are mostly cleared because some of uh, queries maybe uh, they will have uh, tomorrow when they no will no problem uh, i am on... always available to answer no, queries no. no but sir uh, they will have on uh, live market on monday maybe somewhere uh, so i thought uh, i uh, came up with you and i can clear this uh, in short no problem maybe aman okay uh, sir uh, yeah. and done. hold on hold on hold on don't do it yourself <laughs> Uh, I wanted to ask you. You had unmuted yourself to explain how you are using this in equity. Did you cover that? Sorry, I was zoned out for a couple of minutes. So I don't really know if you covered that part. Have you done that? Have you covered? Yeah, sir. Are... Actually, actually, we are done with. You're done. Okay, great. Yes, yeah, Aman uh... has been Aman has been using this system since we were on a you know private discussion. I had explained to him how the system works. So he has been trying it, though he has been also toying with other methods. Right? Uh, he is still not fully convinced about whether he should go with this method or not. That's what I could tell. <laughs> Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, sir, just one small question. Mm -hmm. This equity intraday also you use the same way, right? Absolutely the same way. No difference at all. Can you just take one Snyder or something which you do and explain, please? Yes, definitely. Right now we are looking at. Uh, let me close this floating controls. Keeps distracting me. Right now I am looking at BPCL chart. Okay. Yes, I am on. No problem. Okay. Please go ahead. Let's go some time in the past so that uh, it doesn't look very contrived. Okay. You choose any of these days, and we'll see how we would have traded this. first shift to high kinetic chart high kinetic green unless i have entered here above this red this is of no interest to me this is of interest to me as long as i am riding this trend so i am happy to take my profit at whatever support or resistance level i find now let us say i have on uh, 262 i have an opportunity to short Where will I short? I will short below the green green candle low. So I will look for high kinetic green candle and uh, see whether the low has been broken. In the very second candle, my low has been broken. This is high kinetic candle, by the way. We are on high kinetic. So the second uh, green candle below the low of this is my shorting opportunity. now i switch back to a normal candle right i have taken an entry here and i have gone up to this place now i don't know whether i should have exited or not whether i should have uh, held on to the trade unless i mark my support and resistance levels if i have marked my support and resistance level ideally i would have found some support so i would have said let me exit right you had a resistance which has turned into support and this is the beauty of it like if i remove all the lines and uh, let us say i go to the 5 minute chart of today all right now blindly closing my eyes i'll randomly click on a few lines without bothering to know whether there there's a price congestion or not some support region formed or not right now if i shift back let's say to the 15 minute candle you will find that at my random points where i have just clicked and drawn a horizontal line each and every point has been a support or resistance somewhere or the other what does it tell me the price it's not that support and resistance are irrelevant they are very relevant they are useful but it tells me that the price always stops 
at some level which has been a past high or low you will find this uh, very strange but if you do it for yourself and see you will find always there has been a support or resistance wherever i have randomly clicked and uh, drawn a line you will try and do it for yourself you will also find the same thing as far as the trading method is concerned whether it is for stock or futures or options or uh, commodities or uh, i am actually trading bitcoin because i like to practice during the weekends right now i have a profit of 315 dollars using the same method sorry 1660 dollars is my profit this i keep for my weekends so that i can keep practicing this method i always place a i look at the high kinetic candles and place my order above the high and then look at the normal candle guys this works in all the charts as long as price moves you got a tradable thing so right now with a profit of 1675 dollars i am a pretty happy camper any more questions thank you very much thank you very much it was a really wonderful session you are uh, you are most welcome okay hello yeah uh, uh, vanakam sir sri ram here yeah uh, one question i have that's what same i had typed also like mm-hmm. i was checking the ikanashi chart as well as the candle chart okay. so in ikanashi still the red is continuing but mm-hmm. when we for each uh, high of the ikanashi we will put the order and place it correct so in some weeks they go higher than that uh, candle and then it come back and it continues downside yes, so in that case happens. how how to avoid uh, that part that's what i want to you, know. you don't need to do anything you just place your high kinashi when there is a trending movement happening on the downside you are going to capture yeah. a reversal to the upside okay okay now uh, when there is a trending movement you will only see a wick at the bottom of the high kinashi candle never at the top no 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 in the normal candle the wick uh, goes above the previous candle high yes it happens sometimes you will get a false okay. signal kind of thing yes yes, like yes. today uh, let me show you my uh, multiple chart wala i got fooled in this thing in this place i okay, entered okay. above the high of this candle it hit my stop okay. loss i can't avoid it okay okay no problem this was my question thank you sir it was a good a good session in this one we got more information but uh, <clears throat> i seriously suggest guys you please start trading with this you won't need any indicators you won't need any courses you don't need anything else all you need to do is look at the price and trade the only yes, area we... where i still feel i find a lot of difficulty is how to exit my trades frankly i have not got the hang okay. of it sometimes my heart says enough is enough get out i get out sometimes i yeah. look at a resistance area i get out I yeah if no... we are using this method uh, we will not be trading more also like we will be waiting for the correct uh, place to trade this is another key thing you have to wait with a lot of patience and yes. especially around 9:00 9:15 to 9:45 no your mind will be on overdrive saying uh, when can i get a trade the yes. temptation is what you need to avoid you need to wait for the right signal and then trade you would have entered here uh, luckily it's a green candle you would not have entered the moment you enter a high uh, high of a red candle and it goes up and then comes down again believe me it is a painful process okay. so you trade with smaller lots until you get the hang of it or until you can afford to take a bigger loss sometimes okay. i take sir you will be of, uh, 30 40000 in the morning it screws up my will to trade yes after that i'm no longer in the mood to trade because i i am not sure whether i'll have more losses it's part of the game we need to slowly understand how to handle that and move on so sir you had faced any issue like uh, both uh, c and p p both got uh, hit means both got uh, the order got executed yes today at the same it happened time. no okay. today it happened okay c got executed my p trade was on i don't okay. know what to do i said okay let uh, let whatever happen happen So, so when one trade is going on, one when P was going on, you will be again tracking the C and you will be placing the order for C also. I will so, be placing the order for every candle above the high of a red okay. candle. 
Yeah, both for C and right? P. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Whichever hits, I'm happy, no? Okay, good. Yeah. Here I got entry earlier. So I was stuck with the PE trade while CE also got executed. Luckily, CE hit a stop loss and went off. After that, I was more careful. Okay. And uh, while you're doing uh, your live trading, a lot of doubts will keep happening in your mind. Is this the right point? Should I enter? Will it break out? All that crap will keep coming. We can't help it. Better to take the loss and move on. Thank you, sir. It was, uh, you. PE was, it was good help. Uh, PE was thankfully today compensating all my CE losses and gave me much more. I'm happy about it today. Tomorrow, I don't know. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, so I just have one more question. Uh, again, it's related to the same Hekanashi. Now, uh, since we are uh, taking this where the reversals are happening. So uh, uh, have you any time, you know, guessed or noticed that, you know, there are some impulsive wave that is going on. Then there is a currency wave which comes up, yes. which is actually smaller than the... Yes. Uh, so one of the ways which I try to tackle on this is uh, try to keep to the nearest uh, high of that, uh, of that particular script so that it, it most of the times it tries to hit it. But uh, the Heikenashi, one of the uh, reasons why people do use is because there is a doji formation and that usually tends to be a reversal point. Actually, it um, doesn't, no. You see these two the doji candles here. Where has it been a reversal? It doesn't. It's not a rule written in stone. Wait, no, what, uh, what, they mean to say, yeah, what they mean to say is if there is a doji, there would be a breakout above high what or low. It, that. What the doji tells you is there is a slowing of momentum. That's all. It doesn't tell you in which direction I'm going to move next. Oh, okay. Right? So it is not a reversal sign. Let us uh, get it out of our head. Reversal sign is when there is a break of the high or low of the previous candle. Unless that happens, we are not uh, thinking about a reversal. Here, I would have got fooled, definitely. It went above the high and then uh, ended up as a doji. I felt uh, very let down. I felt stupid, in fact. But what could you do about it? Accept your loss and move on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think uh, yeah, and that answers my question as well. Yeah, sure. Thank you guys Aman. for all your nice uh, comments. Aman, you had something you wanted to discuss? Yeah, sir. Actually, I have. <laughs> sir, actually, I want to ask one personal question. It's uh, not from like, uh, this strategy. We trade and uh, we face it daily. Mm -hmm. uh, when, sir, uh, we know, sir, uh, on chart, on strategy, we get our stop loss. Mm. But uh, uh, some guys are telling in chat that uh, risk reward words are on this. Uh, but uh, I believe that reward is always not on the chart mention. It uh, depends upon our, our own grade. No, not really. Actually, uh, your reward is based on how much you are able to ride the entire trend. Right, sir. Sometimes, sir, I always exited on five uh, five point or something, and some days I I was uh, went through eight or nine. And uh, sometimes I got hit stop loss also. Maybe I depends upon the high grade. See, as long as you continue to remain in the trade until the trend ends, yes, your sir. risk reward, you need not worry. It will be always uh, definitely more than one is to three. In the case of option buying, the risk reward is huge. Like uh, you have 141 to 500, 540, right? Yes, Which is today's trade. So the reward is huge. You get one is to four, one is to five. I have personally had uh, options buying trades where I had one is to 13. Those are nice days, but uh, not every day is a nice day. Yeah, but sir, in equity, I, I think sir, it always uh, depends upon us uh, when we are exiting because sometimes uh, we are being more greedy and trailing our stop loss just to uh, hit our some points. It's okay if trailing stop loss hits, no? you are still in profit. Yeah, but we are looking. But we are looking for sir, uh, uh, one ratio three. Uh, See, and you we can, got you one can never three. capture the exact high or low. Forget about it. 
right? As yes, long sir. as you get close enough and feel satisfied with the money you have made, feel happy. Yeah, sir. Good. Thank you, sir. You have not lost the money, right? Yeah, yeah, sir. That's what the point I uh, got on that day. You messaged me, sir, uh, that never uh, put your MTM in red, put in green. Otherwise, it's less amount. Be happy. Al- always uh, try to close your MTM in green. Yes. Yeah, thank you, you, sir. As the account grows, you'll be able to trade larger quantities later. Yeah, sir. Thank you, sir. No, this Welcome. is what uh, lastly uh, X two. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Swami sir. And that was something which is, and I wanted to say when you said, uh, "Yes, there's no harm in uh, trading your uh, uh, assets and let it fit. There's no problem with that." Uh, yeah. Someone wants to know, uh, since how long you have been using the system? Uh, from how long it has been in the place? This high energy thing? Yeah. The high energy system I have been actually using for the last about couple of months. Okay. Before that, uh, I actually started my trading career with a lot of indicators. I used to have RSI five period with 60 and 40 zones marked, and a five period moving average. And if the price is above five period moving average and RSI is above 60, I was counting on a upward momentum, and I used to stay with that trade. Uh, I did make a lot of money out of that. I have no quarrels with the indicators, but uh, at some point in time. i felt that uh, i'm always getting into a trade a little bit late and uh, to some extent maybe 20 30% profits i'm missing so i decided i'll explore price action and uh, start looking at it i tried studying all your chart chart patterns like uh, you know flags pen and head and shoulders cup and handle and all that crap but i realized that i'm only looking at the price after it has happened only after that you can identify whether it is a head and shoulder or a thing you can try to anticipate saying it may be a head and head and shoulder formation but you can never be sure so i wanted something which will uh, put me on the right side of the trend so i decided all those uh, chart patterns candlestick patterns and all those things don't mean much to me i'm not i'm not uh, saying nobody should use it uh, if somebody is more comfortable using that they welcome to do that but uh, after a lot of chart staring I, i this is my only passion hobby and everything this is my life so i keep looking at charts every day i see whether uh, i can make some new sense out of it but there's nothing new price moves up down or sideways that's all so why are we trying to go through the hoop uh, trying to learn new strategies and techniques you don't need them what you need to know is whether i should buy or sell if so when i should buy at what price i should buy or sell that's all you need to know so i decided i will move on to pure price action and uh, earlier my system was i used to buy above the high of the red ca- previous candle i found that i was entering into a trade too early like in this period uh, if you see it would have given me entry and after that price came down then i said how do i prevent it uh, so i started looking at high energy candles this told me that the trend was very clearly down and i should not have entered anywhere in between so i decided i'll stick with this as my trading method does it answer the question i think it does sir thank you um there's okay i'll add it towards the end another thing someone wanted to ask was anshul do you want to unmute yourself someone mm, asked it's possible i guess i have unmuted myself thanks a lot for that uh, so first of all good evening to everyone uh, i would like to ask uh, yeah good evening sir i would like to ask one question uh, on the nifty uh, 11 30 or 35 you have uh, clearly explained that it it was a sl- stop loss hit and right. same thing happened to me uh, if we go to the bajaj auto today actually i have traded that mm-hmm. if you go to the bajaj auto can can you please Let please stop i'm sorry yeah. I, I, I goofed up. I guess. Let me. Let's do this. Bajaj Auto. Yeah. Yes, sir. Can you switch it on to uh, High Kanashi Scandal? Sure. Fantastic downward ride. See near to twelve o'clock. Uh, can you see these three green candles? What should yes, be I done? do see. What should be done here? 
the this is the main problem i like uh, can you see these can you see the support level of the today's uh, of obviously today's opening breakout and uh, the previous let us look at it in a different way okay mm-hmm. we have uh, support here because uh, after this green red candle low, uh, a higher low has been formed yeah exactly right then you keep on moving you expect to see a higher high in every green candle when it does not happen that acts as a resistance marked yeah got it right so you look in the past also where this thing has refused to form a lower low in the case of a red candle right then you see if there is any hidden uh, resistance levels here after this high there is a lower high so you have lots of lines here okay but when you go back to a 15 minute candle you will find these levels are uh, very neatly marked here in this case this has actually formed a newer uh, level here you have not had a previous level unless you can consider this one okay a lower high after this high but this is on a 15 minute chart you did have a small level which ultimately had to be broken this could not have sustained because on a lower time frame your levels are less stronger than the higher time frame levels price would have been drawn like a magnet to the lower levels okay in terms of actual trading it depends on where you have entered the trade to know whether you, what you should have done at this point okay my haikinashi rule will say when i see a green candle i will look to only sell but here my red candle high was broken yes i would have taken a trade and it got a stop loss and uh, then i would have moved on to a sell trade does that answer the question hello i don't know what happened i'm sure uh, yeah he's unmuted i can't hear him i'm sure you can message if your question is answered or if you have any questions i don't mind getting uh, dms uh, asking questions i will answer every one of them if you want to contact me by email you're free to do if i take if i take the counter trade here what are mm-hmm. the chances of getting success any counter trade against a main trend the chances of success are low no don't you think yes actually but in this case there are chances are very high but these kind of scenarios are very less i guess i think so you see the purpose of following a trend is what to ensure that you are on the right side of the trade the moment you say i'm going to trade against the trend you are inviting yourself uh, into a big problem may or, may or may not be a big problem but a problem all the same you may have a, you may get hurt that's it simple i mean why would you want to take a counter trend trade i can understand like you know if you see the haikinashi candle on uh, yesterday's candle there is a fear of missing out which clearly happens here price is just running away from you you are trying to run and catch the bus please don't do it wait for the bus to come to your bus stop and then board the bus very peacefully so wait for a pullback and then enter guys All right. whoever is uh, on the call and whoever is listening to this recording at any point in time thank you and thanks sir uh, for organizing this i'm not sure who is that but what i was saying is please pay very close attention to what swami sir just mentioned don't chase the price and don't feel that you are looking an opportunity to take that an entry at your time or else you will lose up and uh, you will end up getting money It is always better to miss the opportunity than uh, let your account drain out no slowly one very good trader uh, recently said in another uh, that i was uh, uh, reading 
it's better to have only one or two trades in the month and let it fetch you, you know, good returns rather than trading every day and failing one day and two. Don't do that. Let the entries come to you and, uh, you know, trade whatever is uh, qualifying your setup. So, uh, okay, I'll not get into the psychology right now. Um, I think uh, Amit is asking, can we discuss the entries on the Bajaj Auto Chart? Uh, we are on Bajaj, right? We are on Bajaj Auto Chart. Can we discuss the entries, sir, as possible very quickly? Definitely, why not? Entry is always, uh, you know, you're uh, here in the case of a stock uh, trading, you have the facility to short as well. So we will look for a short entry. Like if you have missed this short entry after the green candle, you wait for another green candle to form and then short it below the green candle low, right? So my entry point would have been here somewhere at three three eight one zero, and uh, then I switch back to a normal candle display. I don't know where I would have taken my profit. Depending on the support resistance levels, I would have taken profit or I would just, just close the trade as it is. At whatever price near this uh, two ranges, it closes. It doesn't matter. Uh, I made 50 rupees profit anyway. See, after making 50 rupees profit, you don't try to look for another two or three rupees. No, that will be very stingy. <laughs> right? It's fine if you don't get it. I would have gotten out at 30, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not the end of the world. Tomorrow we're going to still trade. We'll look for opportunities for trading tomorrow also. Hi, Swami uh, Nathan, sir. You're welcome. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Whoever it is, please go ahead. So, sir, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, very yes, much. Please. Okay, right. so so can we uh, can we use use this strat uh, strategy in higher time frame and um, use it Definitely. as a swing trade? Definitely. Like move on to a move on to a daily or a weekly time frame. You have a fun, fantastic swing opportunity. Switch over to high energy chart. You will uh, see this is a big advantage if you are trading a weekly time frame, let's say. And you enter above the high on the Hakinashi candle formation on this day, which is uh, 30th of March, 2020. Right? I would have entered above the high of this price. Beautiful place to enter the trade, 2095. And uh, and so stop loss will be the low of the candle. In low of the period. candle, yes. Okay. In Hakinashi, uh, normal no candle. normal candle. After your entry, after your entry is done, all the prices are based on the normal candle. Hikinashi only tells you where to enter the trade. See, the idea is not to enter a trade from at ran random points in between where your risk reward ratio can go for a toss. Right? Yes, sir. So here you have a perfect risk reward ratio. You enter the trade there, put your low be behind the low of this uh, stop loss, uh, you keep below the low of this. Then keep continuing the trade as long as it doesn't close below a green Hikinashi candle, which it does at this place. So, uh, like if you see the normal chart, let's look at the prices. So, I've entered at uh, 2095.8 and I've got 2984. Hmm. Big enough. This can, this can give you a nice, uh, good perennial profits if you're willing to hold the trade for uh, two or three months. The best thing in this is if you look at the weekly candle and trade, you have to make a trading decision probably six or seven times in a year, not beyond that. For me, in day trading, I have to make a trading decision, buy or sell, et cetera, et cetera, tomorrow, every day. Mm -hmm. Here, you don't need to do it. You can just sit back and relax. And Good keep for setting a price alert. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, so it can be used for investing too? Then Yeah, yeah. For anything. For If you want a long-term investment, look at monthly chart. What matters is you enter after a pullback has ended, right? You need to know based on high energy chart where the pullback is ending. And the clearest way you can do it is buy above the high of the red. You may have a few false entries, no problem. Not the end of the world. Yes, sir. 
so the moment the pullback is ending you enter the trade you are in the perfect point for taking advantage of a big swing right sir rishi just to add uh in that few pro you will find a webinar by deepak bhai uh deepak prabhakar watch that that will add to this uh, that will be i mean that could uh, help you to work in confluence uh, and there's uh, a you yeah you're talking about that with the super trend i think so yeah yes so with the sir there's a lady by the name of shobana yes I yes i have seen her trades the one you uh, the one with the parabolics uh, sir you are talking about i guess yes yes sir. that's the one that's the one yes all right yes, um you. okay i think i had something else yeah so someone had asked i mean are we done with uh, whatever you wanted to cover or is there yeah, yeah. help no it's only question answer sessions okay okay sir so someone had asked me uh, to uh, request you to share something on psychology they said uh, trading in bnf uh, <laughs> it's a nice <laughs> topic uh, everybody would like to ask and uh, honestly i have been also thinking about my own psychology myself but uh, most of the time our psychological problem happens only because of fear and greed it's not only in trading in our life itself you make mistakes when you are in operating out of fear or greed right in trading it's all the more so because your money is on the line now why does the fear happen if you look at the way the fear builds up within you fear is nothing but a feeling of uncertainty right the moment your uncertainty goes in the form of let us say the best possible price to enter a trade my uncertainty is almost 75% off the next fear is only whether it will turn back and reverse that's the only thing which can happen and if your stop loss is kept according to this uh, low of the scandal that is the worst thing that can happen to you so by and large about uh, 90% of your fears will vanish when you see this the next little bit of anxiety will come when the price is starting to turn against you and your hikenashi is also telling you something may happen it is natural to feel anxiety as long as you keep trailing your stop loss and moving it closer that anxiety will also go away because you know that it will not be minus it will at least be at zero or some small plus so my anxiety is gone the next factor is greed which is obviously related to the profit taking aspect of our trades i am guilty of being greedy myself so I, how can i advise people my only advice can be uh, trade with your uh, levels and uh, keep marking support and resistance levels above your price you need to know where the price is likely to take a turn if it doesn't turn there and it continues well and good happy if it turns there you know at least that you have to exit at that point you may miss a little bit of points but it's okay it's better than making your account zero we can never catch the tops and bottoms it is impossible what we can try is to get as close to the top or the bottom as possible that's the only thing we can do and remember when you are trading you will be trading with your uh, normal candlestick uh, once you have taken the entry all these red candles will create anxiety in you at that time switch over to hikenashi and see if hikenashi is also telling you to be afraid either you exit the trade there and then put on a new trade above the high that's also okay perfectly okay as long as you don't lose what you made in the form of profits and give back the whole thing you are fine anything else i should add no sir i think it has been see basically uh, on the psychology front i i can say don't run to catch the bus wait for it to pull back and then enter a bus at your bus stop you will have a more peaceful ride that way here if you enter at some random point you're uh, you're actually opening yourself to a bigger risk there's no sense in doing it let the bus go away no wait for the next bus your fomo is is taken care of by this your fear in terms of outcome is taken care of by proper entry at the right time at the right location 
many of you guys i noticed in the group are uh, fans of oliver welles i am also a big fan of that guy he only keeps saying if you have to enter enter at the right location and that is one of his biggest teachings i to cop and by the way these are all uh, ideas you will find validated by other uh, youtube channels also i have myself come across a channel called super trend fx this guy trades forex using this exact same principle and uh, it has worked for many others so why not for us so will it be wrong to check the trend and then uh, take the trade like here uh, where your mouse pointer is there some of the red candles are there after the green hakenashi mm -hmm. so can we take only in the direction of the buy side uh, like the overall yes, see for me a red hakenashi candle is always screaming buy 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 okay it is not saying sell that is why i said in this particular trade bajaj auto i would like to enter the trade after a green hakenashi candle low is broken i am not going to jump into the trade even though the price is moved uh, very far away i am not going to jump into the trade until i know for sure that the momentum is going to continue in the same direction so it would be not be okay according to you at uh, taking the trade at the start of the day it depends basically say so you see sometimes uh, you can set a amo order when you see a, let's say a green candle here okay at the close of yesterday uh -huh. right you can set a amo order to uh, sell below the close of this so i would have said uh, sell below 3864 that would have been perfectly valid entry for me but if i am not doing a amo and i'm coming into the market at 915 and seeing a big red candle i am not going to jump in there i'm going to wait i'm going to wait for a pullback and then a confirmation that price has started going back in the same direction it's supposed to go only after that i will enter the trade and, and for the intraday this, uh, please continue sir this amount which you miss is actually not a loss it's your insurance we can always say i would have gained more if i had entered here all those things are you know theoretical speculations morning first candle if it is a big candle i'm not going to jump into that trade i would rather wait for a pullback and then enter all right sir You see, uh, you could never have imagined that uh, today will be a big red day. By day, daily candle, if you see, you would have thought maybe the price will go up. As of yesterday, it broke a uh, resistance level and went up, and uh, it closed uh, decently with a decent momentum. I would not have expected a fall like this. So it's impossible to say how you would have traded this fall. the ideal place to trade is a pullback right sir if you ignore this red candle would you have imagined today will be a nasty fall like this let us say you did not see this red candle you are seeing this as of yesterday evening you had a nice uh, whatever uh, morning star or evening star or whatever is call it and uh, you had a confirmation candle green all your instincts are saying buy and you find right from beginning price has been moving downward no way you would have uh, thought that this will happen no correct sir best is don't ever try to predict okay you just follow profit is there if you want to take the profit you can always take it provided we don't end up doing the wrong things the wrong things are chasing the bus entering at a wrong location and at the wrong price these are the only three mistakes a trader can make Be beyond this nobody can make a bigger mistake you can make a mistake by exiting too early that's fine as long as you're in profit you may exit in panic when the price comes down to your uh, entry level that's also fine as long as you don't lose much it's all a part of learning right tomorrow you will not make the same mistake even sir hakenashi would work wonderful in uh, high volatile markets 
like in it will uh, work in all budget. markets so the only i forgot to mention this the only place where high kinashi will take a beating is when you have a gap up or a gap down right high kinashi candle will not consider gap up or gap down it will show you one big red candle it has happened to me many times that is why i say don't run to catch the bus here you might have had a gap up uh, trade but i will not run and catch the bus i will wait for the pullback and enter that means what i am missing so many points that's fine as long as i am gaining these points right sir any other questions Uh, Swami sir, you told on YouTube channel. Now, what is it? Super trend? FX. FX is forex, right? Yeah. Okay. Understood. Thank you. Welcome. I guess most of us are done. Okay. Great. Doctor, I would, I would like to wrap this up. Wrap us sure. Up uh and and anyone who's watching it watching the recording later please re uh, i mean go back once you are this is towards the end of the recording towards the end of the video uh you i would suggest you to again watch it and pay attention to everything swami sir has said uh you know there's a lot of things which we might uh think are trivial uh you know he's just saying are asa to sab bolte hain But all these things they come with experience. Whatever things he said, I had noticed a lot of things he said. If we implement and follow them, you know, it will make a huge difference to your uh, your your career. And another thing which I wanted to add is, everyone has their own uh, way of doing things. I know a uh, lot of people in FTU itself. A couple of my friends who are do- doing extremely well with RSI and NAs and whatnot, right? So they are doing good with that. Swami sir is doing good with Hike and Ashi. You know, I could be doing good uh, with I don't know Harmonix. So everyone has their own system, their own edge. But don't keep switching and jumping from one setup to another. Give it time, whatever suits your psychology. There would be stop losses and uh, you know uh, drawdowns with every strategy. So don't get uh, demotivated because of that. Keep continuing with a single strategy, and you will do just fine. So work on your psychology. Uh, we'll see if we can arrange for a psychology session with one of the seniors from the from the team. Um, so work on your psychology. That would help you a great deal. Okay. With that, uh, so I have one request. Uh, if possible, uh, once people have seen this session later, uh, could we do a follow-up? I mean, just a talk here in session and follow-up questions people may have. I'm sure there would be a lot of questions. Any time, any time, any time, no problem at all. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And like someone said, Swami sir is a gem and happy you found it. I totally agree. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You are you are making me feel embarrassed. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> I just wanted to share what I wanted to convey, and uh, I I was hoping that uh, the session would have been uh, useful for many people. No it's, matter it's what system or uh, method you use, it always help helps to have another trick up your sleeve. Definitely, most definitely. And uh, you can uh, when you are in a doubt uh, doubtful scenario, some indicators may give you buy, and some indicators may give you sell. So at that time, what do you do? Look at price action. Price will tell you where to go. That's so I am definitely not an enemy of indicators. It's just that I find that uh, price action is uh, actually a more sensible way to do the trade. If anybody feels more comfortable uh, having RSI and other stuff on the chart, so obviously they should do what they are comfortable with. Right. Right. But I went through all these things, and uh, slowly I reached there. Maybe they will also reach this uh, this level. and this situation as i find myself in anyway thank you very much for having me and uh, it's been a nice evening thank you again
most definitely sir thanks a lot thank you for sharing your knowledge thank you all the members for joining and participating thank you sir you are a big inspiration thank you swami ji so it was actually a pretty good session we, we did not feel that it was uh, more than 2 hours or something it oh, went yeah, even i didn't feel it <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good uh, to be honest it, it was a good session and i think we learned uh, something new and how to reciprocate with the current markets and uh, start working you know on what? there is nothing new all there is is only the price <laughs> okay there is nothing right. new in the world <laughs> Price is moving but up or down. Since you have sideways. already done this, uh, it may not be a new for you, but uh, but, but you gave a new perspective for, to us. Yeah, yeah, that's right. For us, it is something new that we have not we have not seen it. You see, I was reading a book on Amazon Kindle called uh, "Day Trading the SPY," and that guy has a system where he puts a MACD on the daily chart, right? And if MACD line is below the red line, he only takes a sell trade. So what it does is he switches over to a 30 minute chart and puts it on high energy and waits for a pullback. The same way we also do it. So when he sees the pullback, then he will enter after the pullback and take the trade. So this method is by no means new, and it is uh, not a exclusive uh, patent or copyright to me. A lot of people are already using it. I only found that it was useful to. manage your emotions well and also ensure uh, i was very attracted honestly because i could see 100% profit on my option trade which means you can multiply your money and you got an atm at your disposal that was what drew me to all these things anyway it's a nice thing that you guys have uh, found it useful sami sir uh, it is so nice of you now you have read everything you have seen a lot of the books ultimately yes, you yes. gave us an a capsule thank you very much for it thank even you. i am old like you but let us try you are like a guru now thank you let us be in touch okay so who's going to stop sharing uh we can we can do that i mean you can stop sharing i think i land the recording and uh, you can end the meeting thanks admin for uh, all the help yeah thank chairman because thank uh, you see left to myself i would have been fumbling fumbling on uh, the zoom thing i wouldn't have known what to do thank you so much sir thank you so much bye bye thank you thank you sir thank you